Here is a chart of the seven groups of food that are most important for you to eat. They are called bodybuilding or foundation food. Sal Health Committee at River School. She is using the chart and some food cutouts to plan a healthful dinner. And later, when Sally gets home, she will help her mother plan the real dinner. Mrs. Brown is a good planner. She's the foundation foods her family must eat to be healthy and happy. She knows the right foods for good bones and teeth, strong muscles, bright eyes, and rosy cheeks. Sally's father is a good planner, too. He is an architect. He plans buildings, and he has told Sally and her brother Jim that building a strong, healthy body is like building a strong, beautiful building. The foundation is very important. If the foundation is weak, the whole building will be weak. Concrete must have just the right amount of sand, gravel, and cement, so it will be strong. Then workers must build a strong frame on the foundation before finishers can make the building complete and beautiful. So a great many people work together to make the architect's plans come true. Mrs. Brown does not work alone either when she plans meals. Many people work to provide the foundation foods her family needs. Farmers must raise the vegetables, fruits, and grains. Dairymen must care for cows to get milk, cream, butter, and cheese. Poultrymen must raise chickens and other poultry for meat and eggs. Fishermen must bring fish from the ocean, lakes, and rivers. Farmers and ranchers must raise animals so there will be meat. And all of these foods must be taken to market by train, by boat, and by truck before Mrs. Brown can buy the foundation foods for her family. So you see, Mrs. Brown doesn't work alone either. Many people work together to make her plans come true. And now, most important of all, each one in the family must do his part. He must eat the food prepared for him, and he must eat it the right way. Sally and Jim eat slowly, and they chew their food thoroughly. And they eat all of their food. Sally and Jim are good members of the Clean Plate Club. Yes, Mr. Brown is a member, too. He's president of the Clean Plate Club at the Browns' house. Mrs. Brown learns how to plan meals from reading and from television and the radio. There is a great deal to learn. But these seven groups of foods are the important ones for you to learn and to remember. These are the foundation foods that go together to build strong bodies. Remember to eat some food from each group every day. In the first group, there are leafy, green, and yellow vegetables. Group two has tomatoes, raw cabbage, and citrus fruits like oranges and lemons. Group 3 has potatoes and other vegetables and fruits not in group 1 or 2, like beets, corn, peaches, and bananas. Milk, cheese, and ice cream are in group 4. They help to build the good bones and teeth. Group 5 foods are builders of bone and muscle. Meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dried peas, and beans. Group 6 has bread, flour, and cereal. And group 7 has butter and fortified margarine. These are especially good for your eyes. Remember these foundation foods. Help your mother plan so you can eat some food from each group every day. When you eat is important, too. Your body is using food all 24 hours of the day, about 12 hours of daytime, and about 12 hours of nighttime. Your food does the best work when you eat at regular times. When you eat breakfast, 
lunch, and dinner at regular times, your food gives strength during the day and helps you get a good rest at night. Sally and Jim eat their breakfast at about 7 o'clock. It's a good breakfast of good foundation foods. Today they're having milk, cereal, poached eggs, and sliced oranges. They are starting the day right. They will be ready for a morning of work and play. But when lunchtime comes, they are hungry again. And Jim remembers foundation foods when he chooses his lunch in the cafeteria. Jim is out for track. The coach has told him that the right foods are very important for athletes. Let's see what he selected. Milk, rice pudding, stew, bread and butter, and salad. Good boy, Jim. Those foundation foods will help you along when you practice running this afternoon. Sally gets home at 3 o'clock. Dinner isn't until 6, and Sally is hungry. But no need to worry. Sally always gets milk and fruit after school. A perfect snack. Jim starts home much later, and you can be sure that he's hungry. Yes, he certainly would like a candy bar, but he knows that sweets are pleasure foods for special times. And besides, it's too close to dinner time, even for a snack. Now, Jim, you don't have much longer to wait, and dinner is worth waiting for. Meat and vegetables, salad, bread and butter, milk and fruit cobbler, all good foundation foods. And now, there are many hours of nighttime before it's breakfast time again. Sally's bedtime is 7.30. Jim's bedtime is 9.30 before a school day. High school people don't need quite so much sleep. But both Sally and Jim have many hours to sleep before breakfast. And remember, your body isn't just like an automobile. When a car is put away for the night, nothing is left moving. When the engine is turned off, it stops using gasoline. But you are alive. When you sleep, your body is still using food to keep you warm, to keep you breathing. Your engine keeps on running, even when you are asleep. You're using the food you've eaten for dinner, and you'll need that good hot breakfast to start another day of work and play. And now, fellow members of Foundation Foods, say them with me. Leafy, green, and yellow vegetables. Citrus fruits, tomatoes, and raw cabbage. Potatoes and other vegetables and fruits. Milk, cheese, and ice cream. Meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dried peas, and beans. Bread, flour, and cereals. Butter and fortified margarine. Remember these foundation foods. Remember to eat some food from each group every day. Let them help you to be healthy and happy.